I was recently single and looking for a guy that wasn't drunk at a bar. I love online shopping, so I thought I might as well try out eHarmony. I was recently coming home drunk from the bar and I thought to myself, why not go on eHarmony, see what I find? But didn't like what I found? Just complain and get my money back. When I was matched with Owen, I thought it couldn't be any worse than any other of the guys that I'd been matched with. And I loved the fact that he actually lived in Vancouver. When I was matched with Heather, I realized that she had lied on her profile and pretended she lived in Vancouver when she actually didn't. And when I looked at her profile pictures, I thought, this could pretty much go either way. But then I saw a picture of her and her dog Cooper and I thought, I had to meet that dog. He staged our first date. I mean, I literally had to pass a test before I was invited out for dinner. Yeah, she ordered a lemon drop and I thought, you know, my favorite drink. So we'll move her on to stage two, see how she does with some Chinese food. I love Chinese food. I mean, he ordered all of my favorite dishes. It was so good, I even took home the leftovers. No, no, she literally did. On a first date, Heather thought it would be appropriate to get a doggy bag and take home the leftovers. Our second date, we went to this fancy Italian restaurant that I had never heard of. So I called up my friend, and she said that I wasn't allowed to wear my white tank top. That fancy restaurant was Il Giardino's, and I uh, took her there, and uh, literally got to hear her talk about her white tank top collection for about half the date. I love white tank tops. I mean, what's wrong with a nice crisp white tank top? At least I wasn't wearing a pink linen shirt with blackberry cufflinks. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's salmon, not pink. And those cufflinks, relics, artifacts. Four years later, he surprised me with a trip to Paris, a proposal at the Eiffel Tower, and then we even got to share a hotel wall with his parents. Welcome to Cameron family. A month or so later, we welcomed our new addition, Bryce, into the world. <laughs> family planning. If you need any tips, feel free to call us. <laughs> Thank you.